Hello guys, welcome back to MD3. My name is Mitchell and today we are reviewing the new film Close, which is an A24 film from Belgium directed by Lucas Dont. <laughs> Uh, Close follows the story of two 13-year-old boys, Leo and Rami, growing up together, and they are very, very close. Their friendship is the target of much ridicule from their schoolmates due to how close they are together, but they are very good friends, and they are there for each other. When tragedy strikes and their relationship is suddenly inexplicably torn apart, there is tragic consequences for everyone involved, and it is very sad. Uh, this film... I got to see through the A24 screener room. Thank you to A24 for holding that tonight. Uh, because where I live, this film supposedly came out a few months ago, uh, but has not reached my hometown yet in any of the indie theaters. So this was my only opportunity to see it. And I'm so thankful that they held this screening room so I had the opportunity to check it out. Because I know it is nominated this year for international feature at the Oscars. So I was very interested to see how this stacked up to like EO, which I saw all quiet in Argentina in 1985. And this film was absolutely phenomenal. Uh, but it does have some of its problems. As mentioned before, as you might expect from the plot summary, this film seems like it might be sad. And you would be correct because this film is absolutely heartbreaking. It is so sad. The first 45 minutes or so is like run-of-the-mill sadness where you're like, oh, that hurts, you know? And then, you know, after the 45-minute mark, there is a certain reveal that no spoilers but left me in shock, left me shell-shocked, and had me openly weeping for most of the runtime after that. Uh, it is a very, very emotionally manipulative film. It could be viewed in that light, but I think it's very, very effective at the end of the day. I think it did a perfect job balancing kind of the drama and the humanity of the situation. I have to say right off the bat, the direction uh, is okay. I think there's some moments that it shines and some moments that it does not. I think this is Don't Second feature uh so i can forgive a little bit of it which is why i kind of rated it a little higher even though there was some directing choices that kind of did not sit well with me uh it's still a very good job on his part for his second feature i can't wait to see what else he does in the future and the acting in this film is unbelievable the two main characters leo and remy the actors who played them do phenomenal jobs they are such good child actors uh they're really setting the standard for what child actors should be nowadays like compare most of the child actors you see in television vision in the film now a days and compare them to the performances by these kids in this and you'll be like night and day there's like a definite difference this film won the grand prize at the Cannes film festival i think last year uh, so that's very very interesting i think it wholeheartedly deserved it apparently got a pretty big standing ovation too so i can see why after watching this film the film overall is amazing uh, as mentioned before, the direction is unfortunately subpar, and unfortunately, while it is an interesting film, the pacing falls apart greatly in the middle act. It's not boring per se, but it is very, very slow. Could be viewed by some to be too slow, in fact. For me personally, the runtime and the pacing did not affect me. I was very intrigued and very sad for most of it, but I can definitely see like there were some slower portions where I was kind of like, okay, what's he getting to with this scene? Overall, this is a very impactful film. Uh, you definitely need to check this out. I know it's like being slowly released across the U.S. If you find a theater nearby you that is playing this film, 100% go and watch it. I think this is one of the films that I think I would personally choose to win Best International Feature this year. I know everyone's rooting for All Quiet. I have never gotten on that bandwagon to begin with. I think either Close or EO definitely deserves this award. I would love to see it happen, but at the end of the day, they're probably going to give it to All Quiet, unfortunately. But, you know, a man can dream, all right? So that was my review of Close, a new A24 film director by Lucas Don't, I would give close a 90%. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, as always, please click the subscribe button down below, like the video, and comment down below which movies I should check out so I can add in my watch list. Until next time, this is Mitchell signing off. Peace out.